Welcome to my channel Imagination C and if you want your own customized application then you can visit to our site imaginationc.in So in this video I am going to tell you how to create and chatting application using python programming language For that purpose go to python.org and download the latest version of uh, latest version of python You can use any other editor tool for example pycharm sublime and either so after that go to file uh, your folder and uh, create two uh, files of uh, python first is client and second is server server is the host or you can say that the admin of the chatting uh, chatting application and the client is with the one who is going to be chat now uh, this uh, first of all head over to your uh, server pi import the uh, import three of the modules which is called socket sys and time socket is going to establishing the connection and sys is going to handle the system configurations and time is going to uh, select the time in which the time uh, how much in how much time a message will be gone and how much time a message will be uh, received so for go to now let's uh, initialize the socket so the s equals to socket here and the host is the pa computer password the password of your computer from which you enter your password so because establishing a connection you ha you should have you should enter the password of your computer and the port on which you are entering so what is port i'm going to tell you so basically port is the number in which we, uh, you are going to enter the same number client should also enter so in the, my case i am using 8080 there are 63000 ports well, from 1 to 1000 it's full, uh, full with some services and from after 1000 there are some of the free so we cannot say that some there are many of the free ports so let's so this is the bind function that i have told in this host and port are defined that is going to actually establish a connection after that establishing a connection i am going to send a notification to the new user that server has been created now server is waiting for a, a upcoming connections now uh, someone is waiting for a connection now after that how many connection can join there are many, uh, there are unlimited connection that can join but it's your wish how much connection you you would uh, uh, you would allow so i am in this case allowing one connection only yeah and this application can run on any computer so if you are using this computer you can chat with other computer because uh, but in the my For case I am using only one computer for the demo purpose. So I am saying that listen only one and accept only one person. So after that, tells the who is the person who is actually joining and uh, say uh, say that it's online. Oh, let's add over the if statement. So. it's very important because this part were pa part plays a very important role in our code this is the one that someone is going to type this is a type section or a type entry where someone is going to type and chat with any other so this is a this is a notification if someone has sent a message then it's going to show message has been sent and uh, this is the code which is going to accept others message And this is going to decode others messages because in uh, because the code uh, or the message will come in binary form so first we have to decode it and then we have to uh, we are going to display this is the message so let's save this the so file of server has been created now let's head over to the file of client so uh, here i have opened my client file now let's Uh, now let's import the important modules that we have also imported previously and here is the important part that uh, the, uh, the host or the password of the computer that we have 
uh, just set it or secured in a server file a client is going to enter that password because someone can come unauthorizedly and access your chatting server for that purpose i have made it secured now after that this is the port the same port should be entered in both uh, both case or it's going to be disconnected or lined anywhere else now after that this is going to connect host and port and a connected uh, print connected to chat server this is the notification actually and this is uh, actually re this receives the incoming message and then it can also message like that after then let's save it and go to the file let's close the files because we are going to open here I am going to first of all open server. You have to actually first of all open the server so that a server can create. If there is if there is no server, how the client is going to be joined? Uh, okay, so here is showing my password is Shivansh. Connected to the server. So if we will go to uh, Shivansh ha has connected to server and on it's online now uh, let's chat hello message has been came hello so it's the chatting is completely real time oh okay so thanks uh thanks and next video i'm going to tell you how to create a gi uh, chatting application thank you